So in this video, I will show you some tricks to cl easily clean up data in Excel. So this video is called Validation Cleanup, How Many Invalid Entries. So first of all, let's just quickly review data validation. You click in the little drop down, you see the choices that you have. Up here on the ribbon, you click Data, Data Validation, and here we see list and it's referring to this area right here. If I click on this, it shows us. We have those four options. But the thing is, in this long column, we have 293 items. But previously, the list, this is the old list. This used to be attached to the values over here, but now it's been changed to the values there. So we know some of the entries in here are not valid. So there is a quick way to identify the ones that we need to change. It's called circle invalid data. So we go up here to data validation and we say circle invalid data. And for all the ones with the same list, as we scroll down here, it actually puts that red circle around it, which is great. However, imagine if you had a list of 50,000 and you, there were maybe 100 invalid entries. You don't want to scroll down like this all day long. Even the sound of the scroll of scrolling irritates me sometimes. So there's another way that you can do it. Because you can't really grab these. You can't filter by these little red circles. You can't sort by them. So I'll show you a trick that you can get them all together. So I'm going to add a helper column, and I'm going to call this true or false. So first of all, I'm going to put in the match function. I'm going to say, I'm going to look for that value with cat over here in this list. Press F4 to lock it in a zero. Now, that's going to give us a number all the way down. But we don't really care whether which, which number it is. We just care, is it in the list? So when there's a number, that means it is in the list. Cat's in the second position. So very quickly, I'm going to add the is number around this. That will just give us a true or a false. So we only have two different answers for the whole column. It makes it a little bit easier. So we see that the animals that are in the new list are true, and bear is false because bear is not in the new list. Now let's quickly add a count if formula because we want to know how many of these are true that they are in the, the new list. Just going to say true. And we also want to know how many are false, that they're not in the new list, and that would require uh, our efforts of cleaning this up and deciding what the new value should be. So I type in false. So we see there's 72 that we have to clean up. There's 221 that are fine. So last but not least, now there's two things we could do here. We could uh, do a sort or a filter, either one. So we could sort the data all by this column, true or false, or we could filter it. And of course, I should just put back our uh, circle invalid data, just so we see the red circles. And we're just going to highlight this. I'm going to do a filter. Press filter, and then I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to say false. Press the OK button. And now all of those red circles are all together, and you can go in there and change them. Now, of course, if it was a universal change where you are changing bear to always changing the bear to something else, you could also use the find feature uh, to change them very, very quickly.